she's not much. It ain't much and it doesn't work. Perfect. What's up, Grappler fans? I have a ton of video to get caught up on, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the most exciting stuff I've got going on right now, and that's my new truck. You may be able to hear it in the background. I've got big plans. As y'all know, I have a bunch of old Ford parts back here, and part of it's gonna be my 6.7 power stroke conversion uh, with an old 1967 crew cab bump side Ford truck. Uh, so some of this is loaded up. Looks different than the last time you saw it. Not by much though, not a lot of progress being made. So I'll tell you more about that, but here's my new truck. This 1992 Dodge D250. Actually, this one's a W250 because it's four wheel drive. I didn't actually realize the difference uh, till I bought this thing, but I'm planning on putting my second old Ford body on this thing when I'm done with it. I'll turn it off because she's a little loud. She kind of sounds like a tractor, but you can see she's a manual. Uh, five speed with four wheel drive and I actually have a buddy coming over I haven't really met him yet but another youtuber that I'm a big fan of and he's really into these old Fords and he actually has the truck that I'm pretty much planning on turning this thing into so like I said it's a 1992 Dodge and I have a bunch of old Fords one of them I already towed to my new house and that's why all the rest of this stuff's on a trailer so i already put some miles on this thing like first weekend of having it i drove about a thousand mile round trip to take one of my trucks to the new house so why did i buy a dodge i'm a ford guy this dodge has the perfect powertrain for what i'd like to do to eventually pull this thing around to shows so i'll have my nice clean fancy new truck that has the leather interior heated and cooled seats and everything and nice wheels and tires and this thing, while it already looks pretty sharp, I plan on putting the old Ford body on it and having two matching Ford trucks. Now, that's a long ways off. This thing is gonna do just fine as it is because it totally works and it still looks halfway decent enough to drive. So, until then, I have a first gen Cummins. But, let me show you what I'm turning it into. This guy that's coming by is from Ford era. That's Solomon from Ford era. He posts all classic Ford trucks on uh, Instagram and he has a YouTube channel as well. He's killing it, doing a lot better than I am, um, keeping up with everything. And he shows you all kinds of people's projects and he's really into stuff like the 6.7 Power Stroke swap. He showed some really cool Broncos, uh, even recently a like a slick side or a unibody actually Ford that was on a newer diesel van chassis. Really cool stuff. But he's got what I want this thing to be. He has a 12 valve Cummins bump side crew cab and I'm sure y'all have seen my bump side but in case you're new you can see back here behind my little puddle pounder boat I've got my 67 crew cab Ford loaded up ready to go to the new house and to the shop so I can start chopping it up uh, as I'm building a shop in my new backyard so as he shows up should be any minute now I'm gonna show you what the trucks gonna look like when it's done I bet he wasn't ready for all those roots. <laughs> Solomon, what's up? Oh. Sorry we're out of light. Hey, Great to meet you, man. Day. How's it what going, up? dude? Good. Man, this is crazy. I've been watching you like nonstop lately. You're killing it. Super curious about, I haven't really like dived into this because I watched some of it when you first got it. Okay. What chassis is it on? So it's a it's a complete 1996 Ram 2500. Okay, that's what I thought. And yeah. it's, so it's Cool Springs, right? Correct. Yeah, I'm gonna take my little ghetto light around with me. So when did they go to Cool Springs on the uh, Dodges? I believe in 94. 94, okay. Yeah, so this is a second gen. Second, second gen, that's what it I was thought. first gen stuff. Yeah, so my uh, first gen over here has Leaf Springs on it. So yeah, that's, you know what Leaf Springs look like, their viewers, but. Yeah, I thought that it was a second gen. So does this have like the P-Pump and all that fun stuff that everybody likes better? Yep. So mine exactly. being a first gen is not like the most ideal 12 valve, but I mean, you know, it's a complete the truck. The truck's probably worth a ton of money the way it sits. 
That's I, what uh, I'd some probably, people are like. I'd probably clean it up, yeah. sell it, and buy a second gen. You honestly. think so? That's what that I. That may do. be what happens. That's because, like, point. honestly, it's really nice of a truck currently. Yeah. Like, if it was a rust bucket. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it doesn't have much rust. Some of the it looks rock clean. It looks like you know you yeah. put a little bit of elbow grease, mm -hmm. shine the paint up, put you know a little yeah. bit of effort into those That's wheels true. and tires. I've heard so many people just say that like the p-pump version of it and the nb4500 or whatever yeah transmission is well, better mine's than mine's automatic but it is automatic yeah, yeah. yeah that's right so this one's manual but it's yeah. the old get rag or whatever yep. yeah the uh, nvs are much better i mean yeah, honestly dude these trucks bring a ton of money now yeah i may end up doing that because for the time being all the focus is excuse me on the light is on the six on seven my, swap. On my dream truck yeah so the, this is going to be the work truck the, the first gen yeah so it's totally going to be just you know what can i do to to get this thing done pull it around with that as needed to get you know sandblasted painted yeah you know, whatever but um when it's all done i'd like to put my other crew cab body on it on a dodge frame yeah. so whether it's this first gen or i'd probably go for a common rail sell it and get it yeah i might it it's different right yeah so it depends on the use of the truck this is my daily driver yeah now totally. that i've been daily driving this red thing for the past couple of weeks actually yeah so it's like a Cummins 12 valve is really loud and really shaky. Yeah. And like, well, I gotta I gotta roll it or push it out of my driveway every morning. Really? If my daughter's not awake. Yeah, because like sense. she'll wake up every yeah. time. Yeah. Um, How old is she? I got a little one on the way myself. Uh, so I have my daughter is 14 months, and I have a son who's six weeks, five weeks. Oh man, that's awesome. That's right. Yeah. I know you had uh, the two. It's, it's just the, the two kids, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. Your first? first and oh, it's dude, a girl you're yeah. in for a amazing time i'm so excited it's the best yeah and i'm so uh, they're kind of boring in the beginning <laughs> but like yeah. when they're like six months old they start becoming fun i hear they get better and better you know, they do they, they definitely do because you awesome, can start man. playing with them like yeah now the little ones all they do is eat sleep poop oh, yeah. spit up all over mm -hmm. like yeah, nothing totally. you, can, you can't interact with them really you know once they're like five six months they, they start their smiling personality comes yeah out, you know? Yeah, I'm excited. It's cool seeing how much you still do with the family and, you know, you come out to all the events and everything. That's definitely my plan, what I'm trying to do. you got to have a wife that believes in the yeah, totally. ultimate goal. Yeah, appreciate you the know, help. With she, the, uh, I've got, like, a bunch of extension cords rigged up here. This is embarrassing, <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, this thing's so cool, man. Thanks. So, I know you bought it out west somewhere, yeah. right, and drove Idaho. it back? Idaho, yeah. I bought her in Idaho. Crazy. Uh, drove her home 3,000 miles. Cool to see the, the Dodge frame for sure. You can recognize it. Oh, well, this. that's how you know it's really a Dodge. Yeah. You see how, yeah. how much oil oh. is right there? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's yeah. certified Dodge thing right there. Is that coming out of uh, this vent hose there, or is that just no, all coming out? the vent hose down? is the air conditioner. Oh, okay, gotcha. I yeah. saw a little drip out of there. So yeah, no, it should sense. be air conditioned. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> nice, man. Probably should check my oil. I haven't checked it since I left Miami. Yeah, I haven't been bad about keeping up with oh no you, too. I, I i'm too trusting oil. of a guy i'm like very nice let's see what's going on under here so still got the old uh bump side latch and everything yep right? i had to trim yeah, it a little bit curious um, how all this went sorry the light's freaking stupid bright it's got oil in it it's got oil in it and i'm in my safe I'll get a little bit i've got some rags man if you want to here, this is i got i got a ton of those leaves too the rag I like your style. Natural. All right. If you want to be a Cummins owner, you definitely have to know how to check your oil. You can't. It's actually part of the uh, buying process. They yeah. Won't, they won't certify you. See, perfect. Yeah, Look at looking that. great. Can't even get better. Super safe. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Your uh, engine looks a lot cleaner than mine with all the black covers and everything. Mine's. I just got totally so untouched. My this truck looked like a mess because I I drive it and I never wash it because yeah. it's not a show truck. Right, oh, like totally. look at all the bugs and stuff. Oh, yeah. it is I know it you've is. driven it everywhere. I'm very like I'm like I'm this is what I need. Fifty thousand miles on it since that's I bought crazy. it, and I didn't even buy it a year ago yet. Yeah, that's insane. In a month, it'll be a year. That's wild. But when I was at LST, I was like, oh, I'm at a show. Let me get yeah. it clean. So some guy was like forty bucks, and he came in here, cleaned it up real really? nice. And now I'm really about to redo it. Yeah. Wow, look at the size of that boy. Holy oh, cow. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a gem. Hey, that's a gem. That's he, a, he made it through the gap of he like, made it the through the he made it through the little gap. Nice. Wow. Hey. I think I saw you were thinking about selling this. Was that April Fool's April deal? April Fool's deal. That's really. what I thought. Bro, you have no idea how many people message me. Yeah, that's I, funny. I mean, if you want to know what it feels like, yeah. just post your truck up for like, hey guys, baby's yep. about to come here. Yeah, oh yeah, people would love that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd be in your DMs like this. Yo, people would be, what's up? first I got of all, you. I got 
there's a few people that would be like, I knew it. I knew he was going to just quit on Dude, it. Dude, it was it's... such perfect timing yeah. when I posted it. Because, like, so funny. I had the kid, like, a week before. Yeah. And it was, like, I was, I don't remember what I posted, but it was probably, like, Chuck's got to go, new kid, yeah. need to be an adult. You know, oh, something. man. That's funny. Because <laughs> I know you had a rendering of it, so I was like, I know something's happening yeah, no, with it, so I didn't think you were selling it. I don't ever plan on selling it. Yeah, I mean, I've, I figured it was worth mentioning. I've turned down so much money for it, it doesn't even make any sense. Like, all my friends were like, you're stupid, you should have sold it. And I'm like, yeah. you sell it, I'm going to want to just buy another truck. Yep. I already have a truck, it's already reliable. Yeah, like, totally. And it's Plus, I'm it's not finished done, with yeah. it in yeah. my head. Like, in my head, this truck's only 25% done, like, to where That's I want good, it to be. That's good, because, honestly, it's like... It's done enough. You can use it. Yeah, yeah. But Ideally, you, but that there's that's always the something. key. By the way, you don't want to get bored. The key to success yeah. in having a truck is buy one that's already running. Yes. And then just make it better. Yeah. And I, never uh, make it not run. I bought this wrecked thing, but she fires right up. That's we'll, what, no, we'll it, runs. It, up and it runs. Yeah, she runs. Yeah. All my stuff. You drove runs. it on the trailer. Yep. All right, sure then did. it runs. The rust bucket over there. We'll check out in a minute. Yeah, it the runs. one that you got yeah. me on yeah the uh the black one there yeah, and the, dude. yeah i had that guy messaged and everything i was like i'm gonna get out there oh that's right you told me that yeah, yeah i forgot yeah you were that trying to get that one deal. dude we gotta look at it it's so rusty like it's bad oh, you're I, probably not gonna be it's from florida you're not gonna right, be as excited go about it but look at the rust Ooh. especially in this light oh it's, my gosh it's bad dude i love it yeah it's it's real bad and, uh, and you're gonna swap this on the six seven truck for now yeah so the plan was dude, why would you waste your time with such a rusty truck so that's what a lot of people are saying the, uh, the plan was the yellow one sun visor. which is already i know i love the sun visor I love that. so funny yeah that's fiberglass too so that's in good yeah, shape yeah that's perfect i plan on keeping that thing <laughs> dude yeah i nobody's selling them right no that's, yeah, i haven't that's, seen this you have to have bought it Back a million years ago that's true that's a good point i've seen a few different ones and that have like nice. lights in them and stuff too yeah dude this yeah that's the nicest thing would on this it. be with like some little leds yeah i've it? seen it i've seen it done yeah you can see it's really rusty up in there too oh, man. so i haven't actually showed the rust that well Ooh, on huh? the channel because most <laughs> of it's been me walking around talking about it and the other side looks dude, way better those pacers but yeah i wanted to show you the full full dude, experience the here. rims are fucking yeah. fresh yeah, they're not bad. You can uh, open the door if you want to. I got my hands full here and pop the hood and all that. But this is going to be the biggest pain right here because this is all crew cab yeah, this, parts here. You can't go to AMD. And yeah, exactly. So that's going to be super, super pain. Um, but yes, yeah, the dash is pretty solid. It had a nice red interior. I yanked out and trashed a good bit of it. Got my spare fenders and stuff. But yeah, so the reason I'm wasting my time on such a rusty truck is... I have the other one that's not rusty. I know, you should do that one. That Well, that's the one I want to put on the Dodge and Bro, leave it like original. The 6.7, way better route. That's my dream jet. That's well, my dream truck. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it once. You think so? Do it with the right truck and stop wasting your time. Well, that may be what happens. I got two trucks, we'll see how Sell far I get Sell me this right into... now. Oh, now I see. I was like, you, you don't, don't need sound... it anyway. I was like, you sound like my wife and I'm kind of confused because I know you like this stuff too. <laughs> no, now it honestly, comes out. no, but that's serious. Yeah. Even if you don't sell this to me, which you should. Yeah. But the 6.7, you should put a good truck on. Cause the only thing is I'm cutting it so many ways to stretch it that why well, cut a perfect so you, roof? Oh, you're saying you're putting a new roof on it anyway? Pretty much, because I'm adding 10 inches to the back to make the the back you door. You feel that confident as in your big as the, rust abilities? I do. Okay. Well, now, then, we'll see. But I'm gonna get into it, and you know, we'll see. I'll have the, the other way. Truck. I mean, honestly, having a six, you know, 67 four by fours don't exist. Really? Factory. That's crazy. I didn't realize that. Not even one. Even like single cabs and everything. No, obviously. Yeah, they did, cabs. but not no crew cabs. Yeah. Okay. Marty Report, who's like the guy. Yeah, I know about Marty. Not Port, even yeah. one. Doesn't even know huh. about one. Wow. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, it's yeah. going to be a real mm -hmm. F26. Yeah. But who cares? It's a, it's yeah. a real 67. The VIN number will be 67. A real 67. So that's really cool. Registered that's why I like this truck. I knew yeah. how rusty it was. But yeah, I, the price I wanted was exactly how much it was worth. Exactly. You know? And I wanted a 67, 6.7. I love Whoa, love the grill. Baby. You know, oh, I had to have it. It that's has Ranger nice all over it. Holy shit. Yeah, the hood. Yeah, the grill's nice. perfect, huh? This piece blew off. You can pop the hood if you want to. It's not. <laughs> this piece blew be careful. Off. Do you have your tetanus shot? Is it? Oh, is it do I? Current? So the hood blew up while I was driving. Oh. And um, I lost that piece there. But Dude, yeah, it's a 352. Freaking runs and, no problems well it runs pretty crappy at, okay. down the road okay. but i mean in the yard you can drive anywhere all day you know anywhere it fires right up and everything you can take all the leaves to the front yes totally so for the price i was like i'll have that 67 okay. vin i'll have you know a truck that i'm not gonna cry about cutting in half i mean 
what, what how much was it how much did you actually get it for two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars oh yeah so the grill is at least 500 bucks yep i paid 500 for a i have one just like it that's even better for 500 um the, the i would clean it up for five but yeah same thing the bumper is probably 100 bucks mm -hmm. you know what i mean i mean yeah there's some stuff here there's a lot of let's check out the other side that's the that's the good side like, you know well, stop looking at the it right got side. it got um left under a tree and forgotten about for far too long I mean, this isn't even the one that was the worst one on the property yeah the other one was was gone like i think i'm gonna go buy that one so considering you know i'm saying that i feel confident i could fix that one i do not feel confident that the, the other one so i wouldn't fixed. i wouldn't fix it i would just leave it as rusty as it is like put it on a put full a cage crown, or something put it on a full crown vic chassis yeah. and just send it until like you I can't you send should. it anymore somebody needs to come get that for thing. a thousand bucks i think it probably be what it would be yeah i think that's what he would want and the guy really had they were nice he showed me pictures of both of them yeah they were really nice trucks in That's like so the 90s yeah and they've just gone gone to crap yeah. i think he might have bought this in like 03 or something but florida rusted out. florida trucks yeah so this fender is perfect even though there's rust sitting right on, on top, top of, it. of it that one's good yeah doors are bad too the roof's still bad this whole bedside's fine um Whoa. so i've got two single cabs and two crew cabs and yeah. i'm planning on we can look at the other, the six, seven over there. Okay. I've got the whole stack of what's going on with it, but basically I'm doing the front from about like here mm -hmm. forward of a single cab. Okay. And then the back from about here plus 10 inches back single from cab. a single cab. And then I'm going to use this single cab to patch as much of the roof as I can. So uh, I want it to look as stock as possible. Yeah. Cause two perfect single cab drip rails and i can get another single cab too and it's just also keep... it's just flat bent metal you can make yeah, it too that's true it's... that's what i was thinking i mean at the end of the day all this stuff's not rocket science it's just yeah time and the money whole and effort back crew cab of the floor is like perfect the front floor pans are pretty bad but dude, there was water in there there was water in that clear coat like bad like <laughs> it was like squishy it's crazy this is such a 90s truck yeah i didn't even realize that the uh the 67 had so many one-year things like with the, oh, with dude, the so heat controls many. and the handles and everything so, so i plan on having all that be in my second one that's going to be more original with original interior yep. and um this one will be you know new you black know leather seats different too right uh how so like what what exactly so i believe the inner oh yeah that's true yeah it's different i plan on putting this whole door so these whole doors have on the, the handle. pull handles mm -hmm. these have these yep. handles so I want the pull handles on the 6.7 truck because I want to use the 6.7 door, door panel. panel and that has the pull handle already that's pretty similar. And I've uh, talked to a guy that's kind of got far along with a similar swap, um, like Hunter. Hunter Tyler. Yeah, he um, is using the back door Super Duty door panels or at least he knows the they'll front. fit for the front and the back and nice. that should fit pretty that's well cool. because they're Great smaller. Idea. So I'm going to put these doors on the yeah, other one truck. that has a solid roof yeah. and, have, and then just repair the rust. Um, and they actually like the windows go up and down pretty smooth like they're really not terrible I'm gonna take these off and put on gold real quick. Oh, that? man. Ooh, I don't know because so. I think those will be on the, so I'm planning on all the cool little things like that All the grandpa Pro, shit. Yeah, all the grandpa stuff will be on the Dodge chassis one including the visor and then the other one will be like 67 West Coast mirrors, but stretched otherwise it looks stocky can't even tell the difference it'll be on similar looking wheels and uh 40 inch trail grapplers and underneath it'll be a bds coilover kit um so when people are going to know it's different but i don't want the body to have anything anything weird going on with it so it was shortened five and a quarter inches so if you look right about under here like okay. that it lines up with that pretty much you see there's like a line on the frame oh on the frame you shorten the frame oh yeah i see that gotcha okay i was trying to figure out like what you could have shortened on the body because i was no, thinking the body that is stuck yeah. Ah, gotcha. So I also see it looks almost looks like your gap's a little bigger here, but I think that's how I was looking it, at it. It might be. Looking no, at no, it from no. this the angle, gap, looks normal. the gap might be. I, yeah. I actually don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't looked at them that closely. It's nice you got the little helper bags in there. My first gen's got that too. Yeah, I had to put those. So I'm just gonna I, hold I this like this. I towed with this truck all the time. Yeah, that's so. awesome. What's the heaviest thing you've towed with it? Um, I towed another crew cab. So nice. Yeah. Probably that. Oh, the bed patina is so sick. Yeah. That tailgate looks awesome. Yeah. Nice, man. Yeah, I'm planning on doing the uh, solid back glass. I think it'll be better yeah, for, I'm going like, to. for yeah, for decals and stuff. It's cool. Do you know what this is like for? What would be tied down by this? Oh, this had a full camper on it. You oh, can see okay. the holes for the camper. Yeah, that makes sense. 
So they've gotcha. had like a smaller, not like the one that I just showed you that we can't talk So about. with a well, they're uh, actually very useful. Extended cab, long bed, Dodge. Yep. You had to shorten the frame. Yep. To fit this stock yeah. body on here. Okay. So me over here having this first gen, if I do end up using it, you'd have to, yeah, it's you'd, an extended cab have, long, like bed. long bed. So yeah, but, you'd have to shorten it. But I have bit. a crew cab long bed. Oh well, maybe. And I'm wondering how close that'll be. I'm thinking I might just take a couple inches out of the bed, if need be. Yeah, that wouldn't be and hard. And I think and that would work out fit. pretty well. That actually look really cool because then you can thinking. make it like really just more proportional. Yeah. And then it's like in between a long and short bed because it's just it's. Yeah, because the long bed's a little long. It looks the long really bed's good. a little long. I wish this was a bigger bed. Yeah, these the short beds are short. They're the long really beds short. are long. The long beds are too long. So I'm hoping to split the difference a little bit. So yeah. you said they took five and a half inches out of five this frame. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Yeah. So uh, basically, ideally, I would add probably six inches. To yeah. The bed. So three if I add three in the back, if there was five and a quarter more. Yeah, it would be on the front of this like, bed it would usually yeah. i'll have in here like one of those container things yeah. and then you have no space like yep. i go to I, i'll go to a show and want to buy a bunch of stuff at the swap nice. meet and dude it fills up quick yeah, i bet <laughs> yeah that's another reason why like i think the short bed looks better so yeah, i want it definitely looks i better. want the six seven to have the short bed yeah but it's more desirable for sure. um then i'd like to have the same the other one be a long bed i think it'd just be cool to have them be slightly different but otherwise same year yeah Thanks. build your truck yep the, if you're painting it which i think you are oh yeah i'm gonna you have get... to fill you, uh, you have to yeah I'm you gonna... should fill this yeah because this is where they all start rust wow yep. that's getting bad your light's not kind i'd like to see the interior more if you don't mind sure show me i don't know i know you're traveling but yeah it's a little dirty yeah so what year f-150 seats are uh, these 2015 2015 nice. yep it smells new in here yeah that's impressive yeah I've... to have this old truck i like uh no dash mat or anything just yep just the dash it had it i didn't know that it wasn't just pull off so i start yanking on it oh that's yeah why everything's yeah a little scratch and stuff i'm yeah. gonna put one on eventually but yeah, i have I've, a bunch of plans i've taken a few of these off um so is that the original color yeah that that's sharp that's yep. cool man this actually goes together pretty decently considering well, i cut this to mm -hmm. make that yeah. fit like it does yeah that's cool old old so. school air conditioning yeah that's coming yeah. out pretty nice. much as soon as I get I bet these home. seats are comfortable. Dude, they're so much better. Yeah, I'm super stoked to have the new leather, you know, the black leather seats yep. in mine. Heated, cooled, and everything. Yep. And it's going to work. But again, I'm going to miss the old, and that's why I'm excited to have another truck oh, that has the old dash and, yeah. you know, the old steering wheel and everything. I don't know. I would I would figure out a way. I, I, literally, on the way over here, I was thinking, like, what I'm going to do when I build a new truck. And yeah. I, I would just make a a custom dashboard good fire up i drove it up on the trailer yesterday but she's not much it ain't much and it doesn't work perfect that's gonna be perfect intro right there let go of the uh, hell yeah yeah so totally stock 2016 the fire's right up and i have the whole interior and everything um, that's, that's all she wrote, you know, it's just got, uh, that's what to do it, but to do it now, it's got to put the old body on it. Yeah, I'll check this thing out while I'm letting the, uh, 6-7 warm up, so. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I love the, the old dash, dude, it's super timeless. So, like, in my head. This flashlight looks so ghetto on the, on the video. Dude, it's I cool. feel like you can make one that has a similar resemblance, right? You can make yeah. it taller, because I would have no issue if the dash was up till here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That way you yeah, can fit your them. bezel in there easier. Yeah. But you can still try to make these shapes. And like, yours is metal. These ones are plastic. So you mm -hmm. get another one of yours, like the one on your old truck. The 67 one? Yeah, and yeah. then just lengthen it. So just add in. Yeah, that way it's that taller. Area longer, and yeah. that way you could put, have the factory looking mm -hmm. shell, but yeah. with your thing behind it. Yeah, or honestly, I could get, you know, plug and play gauges, I'm sure, for a 67 that look totally different. You know, so I don't have all that forward display. I mean, my yeah. gauges are all Dakota Digital yeah, RTX, thinking, so. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm sure they'd be able to do something for that. No, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you really then, got me thinking about doing the dash dude, like, differently. Think about it. You could have right here would be your, your infotainment system. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, mm -hmm. you'd have your double din right here, yeah. which is still a great spot you could easily see. Mm -hmm. All those buttons you could put right here. Yep. And... Oh wow, that's wild down there. Is that your full wheel drive? Yeah, so I need that's a. Sick. So I, uh, I just haven't yet, but I want to. That's that's why I got the F one fifty by the way instead yeah. of the F two fifty. 
gotcha. I was gonna get an F250, yeah. and that way it has more cup holders. Mm -hmm. The F150 had the shifter here, yeah, and so I got it so that way I can extend that. Ma yeah, I'm gonna extend this and put it here, and then I'll put the shift boot back, and that way It'll I still have my actual four by four. Oh man, and it, it'll so you know cool. what I mean? Yeah, you really think it way in the future because I'm thinking like, oh, old truck on new interior leaving new interior perfect but if you think about all those things to blend it <clears throat> if i can get my voice to stop cracking <laughs> to blend it like that it's gonna be so cool yeah i, I was thinking i'm pi i was picturing sit in the truck it's a 2016 you can't tell it's an old truck you get out the truck you can't tell it's a 2016 it looks old but i think in 20 years a 2016 isn't cool i think 20 exactly and i, I want to no matter what thing. this is cool yeah i can always take this out and put a bench seat back in it yeah totally professional lighting she ain't much but you know she goes down the road yeah man this thing's awesome it drove i don't know how many miles here but i think it was like 600 or 700 yeah it sounds about right let me know if this light's distracting you no just trying okay. to have like some the some kind super of light fogged up mirrors or, or windows or yeah florida sure. evenings which way uh either way either way it's fine There's, you can get back so far is there like a loop or it doesn't matter uh it's, either way it's a loop honestly okay. So it's pretty much bone stock right now. Um, I haven't done anything to the motor at all. Uh, so after the corner, I'll cover through her paints a little bit. Oh, this feels way faster than my first gen already. Uh, I mean, not so way faster. I put but. this on the dyno. I saw well, they that. put down 145. 140, yeah. But 147, it's like, maybe. One, yeah, one, something like that. Yeah. And um, I was like, okay, but it doesn't feel slow. Like, no, not at all. And it, now it didn't even lock out yet. Once it locks in the next gear, here. Now it's really all bad. Don't know the road, so I'm not sure if I should be speeding or not. Yeah, you're all right. It's uh, it's a straightaway for a bit. Yeah, um, I mean, and you can you turn know, around whenever. We're doing 60 clean, no problem. Yeah, but, you know. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice the digital readout. Oh yeah. So I got fuel on this side, that over there, and then I can switch it. So oh, cool. I can switch them out to all different types of displays. Yeah, that's I love my Dakotas. It's literally one of my favorite things in the truck. Yeah. I would do a burnout, but <laughs> I don't blame you. You're I'm, on not a trip. A, I'm still need to make it back home. Yeah, and I've got right. a leaky water pump. Daily driver. Well, I. Miami, I'll do I'll do donuts anywhere, burnouts anywhere. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, totally. But when I'm not home, it's like, all right, can I afford the tow bill? Yeah. But yeah. This thing is so sick, man. I appreciate the ride. Mm -hmm. okay, now it's locked out. Once it locks into the fourth yeah. gear, it's like, oh, you can just freaking mash. Okay, I'll do that all day. That's awesome. My favorite part of the whole truck is yeah. the blow up valve. Yeah, that's sick. And it's not even it's not even like an aftermarket one. Like yeah. I can't wait till I got compounds on here. And yeah, like, totally. One day. Yeah. And it's no dust. Oh really? And it's so loud. Where's the is it just like a just a spare part? Yeah. No, it's not full Oh, you say no exhaust, that thing it's stock. Yeah yeah. Wow. I'm saying it's full stock exhaust. Full stock exhaust. That's With crazy. all the factory California EGR stuff. That's insane. And it's so loud. It is so loud. It's mine idles way lower because it's turned down, but that's a lot louder than mine. Yeah. Uh, I do always like, dude, it sounds great. I'm like, nothing's done to it. That's how they came. Dude. 96 Dodge. 
That's just awesome. a loud vehicle. Yeah. That's and I plan on doing this off and everything, so I'm like, wow, I can't. Like now you hear the motor is loud. Yeah. When I get the exhaust, you're gonna hear it's the awesome. exhaust note. Yeah. So totally. that's what I'm excited for. Yeah. I think I, I think you've barely been in this video. So say hi to everybody. <laughs> hey everybody. Yeah, that's awesome. If you want to see more of my face, you can go watch my YouTube video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Yeah, you got anything else? You want to tell me about it? I think you pretty much covered it. Uh, it's a 70 F250 crew cab. Uh, it's a F250, originally two-wheel drive. Uh, sitting at a 96 Ram 2500 chassis. Uh, the swap was done by Jimmy at Old Iron Diesel in nice. Idaho. Um, bought the truck in Idaho. Road trip home to Miami, 3,000 miles. 3,000 miles, wow. Um, you, could, you know, all of it's documented if you go to my uh, Ford Era YouTube thing. Uh, it's got a 2015 interior. Uh, it's sitting on 33 by 10 on 16 inch wheels with the factory caps. Yeah. Uh, got uh, not really much you could tell that's done. It's got, you know, airlift bags in the back. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, it's got Dakota gauges. I got the uh, um, dapper headlights. Um, yeah, the headlights look a lot better than my stock uh, Dodge ones, like as far as brightness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how with the Dodge axles, the tires stick out just a hair. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's not perfect, bad. Perfect, yeah, perfect. it looks good. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. I'm walk around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, one day when I finish my Ford swap, I'll have something like this. Yeah, bumper's super cool. I love these old tailgates. Love yeah. the. Uh, it's so funny how it's quieter back here by the exhaust. Tip. It's loud yeah, from the, the motor. In, the the motor's loud. just loud. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, better shot at the patina and everything. So cool. It's got the Ford Era license plate. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so funny. That's like original 1971. Crazy. And then I stole that from KC. Uh, in Dallas, Casey's paint. Yeah. He had it on his truck and he told me it was a magnet. And I'm like, oh, don't tell me it was a magnet. Oh my God, the so student driver thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say, was that in one of the videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah. I saw that. He didn't yeah. even realize. I don't know, he never, I don't think he knows that I took it. That's funny. That's but it's in my video. It'll be in this too. I never saw your channel. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see your stickers. I changed, back here, I changed the chrome. I had the same bumper, but it was painted. Yeah. Added that, added these little billet rings, and then I put this on. I, just, yeah, I like the chrome. I've got I these. Feel like yeah. It adds a lot. Yeah, chrome. I like those a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I plan on having this on mine when it's done. I like yeah. those. Nice, dude. And then, well, you got plenty of horsepower from all these stickers you added. Yeah. And then the most important, if you're not a Cummins owner, if you don't carry, yeah, oil. There you go. There. You know, you definitely you have to have oil ready. That's so funny. I'm gonna have to check mine for my trips this weekend. I might need to get some yeah, myself. Yeah. Yep. Nice dude. Well, you can't hear anything probably in the video, but it's freaking awesome. Yeah, it's so cool seeing this thing in person now, like after watching you. And obviously, you've been doing Ford Air on Instagram for how long now? I mean, I think like you've been 15 killing or 16. It. Yeah, well, I started like 14, uh, but you know, obviously, mine's more like tire focused, where yours is classic Fords. And now that I've super into the classic Fords, still into the Nittos, it's crazy to see like how much you've grown so quickly like YouTube's taken off you know I'm trying to be like you when, channel's I, get, been, when I get older been huge. shoot I'm trying to be like you you got way more <laughs> followers and everything you're actually driving a diesel Cummins bump side I have all the pieces of the puzzle but mine's yeah, but not you, drivable you've yet you've got like my dream build going meanwhile I've got like it's grandpa over here that's alright man I like this thing a lot I think we definitely are in the yeah. right mindset you know I just headed. think it's awesome that like couple pretty young guys how old are you 25 for i'm 27 so pretty much yeah. the same age yeah. you know what i mean like we're the generation that's taking these trucks to be cool instead of yeah totally you know and then like all my friends i mean i i literally said it before i'm not sure if you're putting that in or not you know how that my big truck got me broke and yeah. like you know that all these newer yeah, trucks you're I mean, fancy saying the they're pretty but, much yeah. you are always finance you yeah. know you, you don't own a yeah. brand new F250. I'm talking about brand new. I'm not saying you know you get a wrecked one and fix it. Yeah. But you're not. Most people aren't cashing out. No. A dealership. No. And if you are, then 
you probably aren't making you don't even have the time to do any of this you're spending you're that kind of money it. yeah yeah you're paying but like, to do it so like all, a lot of my friends were they don't get it and they're like dude like you had a badass you know brand new brand new truck. and they have you know their badass brand new rams and mm -hmm. whatever it is and yeah. i'm like dude like i paid for this truck cash like yeah. i flew there bought this truck in cash mm -hmm. for the amount of money that i bought it for yeah. which is significant yeah but, but like i can believe that at least you know i don't know i feel like these go up in value versus those only yeah go down. i had that 11 king ranch it was my dream truck in high school i drooled over those two-tone king ranch trucks i got one as soon as i could put a decent down payment i put ten thousand down damn on it cash you busted your ass to make good. that money huh yeah and i felt really good about it and then a couple years later started going to events i was like working with like nitto and bds and i felt really good my truck was like perfect and i was like this truck is worth half of what i probably have in it this is not not going well yeah so then i was like you know what I'm, I'm selling this thing luckily i traded it to a guy that really liked it for two trucks so i ended up with that platinum f-250 that was stock and that cat eye silverado that was about worn out was able to sell those for enough that now i've paid cash for all this i've got first gen cummins two bump side crew cabs six seven a boat you know i've paid cash for all this and then some i still have room in the budget for a shop and a trailer so i mean it's just been going great mainly from not having a car payment anymore 500 bucks a month that i can put into the truck you know it's like yeah, i don't see that, how there's any other way to do this it adds up dude yeah. like i i don't know these trucks are only going up thank y'all so much for watching if you made it to the end of the video i really appreciate that i know it was a long one but solomon came a long way to come to my house um he was in town for an event but he came over and it was really cool talking to him i didn't really want to leave much of it out as you can see, I'm in my new backyard now, and the gang's all here. I got my pile of junk relocated, and I want to give y'all an update on how hard it was getting this stuff here. I had a lot of issues, and it's been a whole process. And now, as y'all have been seeing, I haven't made many videos. I did go ahead and release something about my Bronco recently. Uh, that's going well, but the rest of this stuff, you see I got grass growing all around it. Stay tuned. There's a lot coming to the channel. It's been a time.